Hey guys, Yo. good to see you. What's happening, man? Yeah. Guys, it's been a while. It has, it has. A long while, but we're here right. and we're back it with has. some more flavour. Trust me, guys, we're looking forward to showing you this tasty recipe, one of our favourites and one of our family favourites, and also in Jamaica in, in itself, and yep. in the Caribbean, curry goat. Yeah, man, yes. curry goat, guys. One of Jamaica's, or even the Caribbean's, mm. most speciality yes. dish. Trust me. Trust me. So guys. let's get straight into it with yeah, the ingredients. Yes. So we've got our curry goat. First things first, guys, you have to get the curry goat with the bone. Because mm -hmm. you know, say, if it doesn't have the bone, it's not curry goat. The bone creates the most flavour. You get me? It's really juicy. So our next thing is washing the meat, yeah? That's right. You've got to wash the what meat. What did grandma say, bro? You have to wash the meat. Trust you me. You have to. You have to. And you can already see, guys, the lemon and the lime that's already been squeezed mm -hmm. into this curry goat here as you can see we've left the lemon and the lime wedges in there for you guys to see but we just rinsed it underneath the tap um got the lemon and lime and vinegar in it bro yep, and yep. squeezed it and rubbed it together yep, yep. very essential because you know goat sometimes when they go to the goat shop mm. or the, the butchers yeah i see the goat meat sometimes a bit it's looking a bit red and yeah, bloody yeah, so exactly. people that don't people that say don't wash your meat i don't know why i go on with you know <laughs> you have to wash curry goat man trust me, trust but yeah let's get straight into it first right. We have to season the thing, like it says on the apron. Mm -hmm. Yeah? First things first, season the thing. I'm gonna start with my dry ingredients, bro. Okay, so I'm gonna go. start with the salt. Let's start with some salt. So we like to use a bit of sea salt. We've got one kilo of goat here. Mm -hmm. So this is served between two to three people. But you know, if it was me or you, maybe just one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just set up a family. Yeah, sure. You know? So you guys, it's so key as well to get the right cut of meat as well. So when you go into the butchers, yep. make sure you tell them we want the right cut of meat in it, bro. Yeah, definitely. I think the best cut is probably the shoulder mm -hmm. or the leg. You get yeah. really tender, succulent pieces. Back to the season, I'm going to go in the black pepper. Obviously, we don't really do the measurement thing, but there is measurements yeah, in man. the description. Measurements what? <laughs> I never learned about measurements. Since the barn. Since barn. Trust me. But as, make sure that you actually see that the, the seasonings in the meat. That's our big tip. Yeah. Really. So we're going to go over with a mixture of curry powder, which is the main ingredient yeah. for this dish. So this is actually a mixture of different curry powders, actually. So a lot of people always ask us, what curry powder brand do yeah. you use? That's probably what, one of the most questions we get asked. Isn't it? We do. Which curry do you use? Yeah. Right, but, you know, we use a blend because we feel that the blend gives different flavours from different um, regions. That's right. Because I know you've got Asian, Indian curry powder, yeah. you've got Caribbean curry powder, and you've got different, so many different curry powders. Yeah. Why not just blend it in together That's right. and create some magic? Essentially, you need probably about, all together, about maybe four to six tablespoons throughout the whole course of this whole recipe. Mm -hmm. But we're going to go in probably about two tablespoons now, it, bro? You say? Yes, you get straight in. Two, two to three tablespoons now. Yeah. How do you know that's two to three tablespoons? No, no. <laughs> After I, yeah? <laughs> Trust me. So straight in with the um, curry powder. Yeah. Now I'm going to go in with some, yeah, more. Which one do you want? Pimento seeds or pimento um, I'll, I'll, powder? I'll go with the powder, you know, the yeah. ground one. Already ground. Sometimes, you know, when you're munching into that pimento seed, is just, it's a bit mad sometimes. So this is the ground pimento, or you've got the pimento seeds, if you've got those, and just crush it, and just get in about a tablespoon, a teaspoon, isn't it, bro? Yeah, yeah. About a teaspoon. A teaspoon. Amazing. So there's so many flavours going on here. Yep. Salt, pepper, curry powder, pimento. So we've got all our ground seasonings in. We're going to go in with the fresh seasonings. That's right. So that's one medium onion goes in. Roughly chopped. Mm -hmm. Scallion. Scallion. Yeah. Spring onion go in. Just one chopped, roughly. Spring onion, so... I'm going to make my brother do something now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we've got about, looks like about four cloves of garlic that is just roughly chopped goes in there as well yeah. we're going to go in with one scotch bonnet here i've taken some of the seeds out but you can see a few more seeds that are left in there mm -hmm. up to you guys you can de-seed it or keep the seeds in if you can handle the spice mm -hmm. yeah if you're bad keep the seeds in mm -hmm. that's right so if you're not too prone to the spice guys you can literally just use maybe like a quarter um um, of this of the pepper, mm -hmm. really, because Scotch bonnet is really fiery. Even if you've got jalapenos, feel free, but that's not the real thing. Yeah, it's not the real thing. Actually, I know. No, forget jalapeno. Yeah, yeah, you, no. have you have Scotch to use. You have to, you have to. But I know we understand in some areas you can't get that. Mm -hmm. So you can use chilies. Maybe you just double the amount of chilies you use to create that extra heat. Like grandma said, if you want good, your nose have to run. Trust so me. if you have to run, 
to get your scotch bonnet, run. Yeah, listen. <laughs> Run to where you, your nearest Scotch bonnet um, could where? be. Would be my, nose, my nose has definitely been running lately, where, where the, the weather's been cold, bro. <laughs> but yeah, I just went in with the, the, the fresh thyme. Mm -hmm. So we've got some amazing aromatic flavours going on here. We've got everything in here. The fresh, mm -hmm. the ground. It's looking colourful, it's looking attractive right now. Mm, and it smells as well, you can smell yeah, it. The and this is a major key in um, Caribbean cooking, mixture of the powdered yeah. and the fresh ingredient when you're seasoning your meat. Amazing, amazing. So now I'm going to get down and dirty, <laughs> yeah, and season the thing. That's right. You can use your hands, guys. Make sure your hands are washed. Yeah. I'm going to use a spoon, you know, mm. just to the fact that curry stains up the hands a lot. I've got a question yeah. for the audience. How important is it to get the colour right when you're making curry go? Very important, man. Yeah. I feel like colour and texture is everything. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, I remember my mum used to say, you see you, you see with your eyes, you know? You eat with your eyes. Mm -hmm. So when you see something that looks good, mm -hmm. aesthetically good, and the textures and colours are, are bursting, yeah. you want to eat it. Mm -hmm. Colour and the texture has to be right. So yeah. when it comes to curries for Caribbean, um, we like a dark, rich brown. Yeah, man, trust me. This is smelling amazing, guys. Mm. The freshness of the flavours. Yes. I've still got that lemon and lime in there, which I'm going to take out now. So you can smell that freshness from the lime, the acidic flavours, yes. and the, you know what I mean? The aromatic Beautiful. from the thyme and that pimento, Beautiful. that smoky. Mm. It's time to marinate the thing, guys. Yeah, man. Put it in the fridge, get some cling film around it, put it in the bottom of the fridge yeah, guys, so it doesn't contaminate the rest of the That's fridge. Right. So I'm going to marinate overnight guys, so I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> One eternity later. So now it's the next day. <laughs> yeah man. <laughs> but if you don't have time guys, you can literally just marinate it for about half an hour. Yeah, or hour. Well, straight away. Yeah, so and, uh, everyone's busy, no one's got time these days. So. But we recommend you as do. long as possible. That's where you get the maximum flavour. So here we have it here, all ready to go. So let's get the... Stove on. Comment below, guys, what curry powder you use. Yeah? We'd like to know. Yeah, we'd love to know that, man. Because we're using a, um, a blend, so yeah. have a guess what ones we're using. Yeah, guess, guess, guess. Like that. Let's go straight in. We've got the oil. Cool. So we use some oil in here. We like to use, you know, a bit of sunflower oil. You can use any oil, really. Vegetable oil is cool. Yeah. As well as a little bit. That's in right. There. Yeah, man. Make That's good. Get, get hot, hot, get hot, get hot. There's a lot of, a few techniques in the Caribbean in doing curry goat or curry chicken. Some people like to burn the curry. Mm. Some people like to, you know, add all the seasons together and throw it all in, uh, what we're doing now. A nice, simple, easy version that we kind of grew up on. Like, mm. we used to, see, used to see our grandma doing it um, when she used to look after us yes. in the 60s holidays. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, mm. running around, and she used to see her, right, what's going on here? Just to see <laughs> everything that's dashing. So this is a quick way to do it, yeah. easy, and it's accessible as well. Yeah, Everyone can. And some people even like take out the raw ingredients as yeah. well, but we like to keep it in um, yeah. so it's lovely um, and marinated and the flavour in the pan is even more greater. Absolutely. And also guys, when we don't use that much oil because a lot of the oil comes from the meat, yeah. but we just need a little bit of oil to help brown the meat in there. So, so remember that. Yeah, so, so yeah, so the, the pan is nice and hot, yeah? Yeah. So cool. we're going to go in guys and add yeah. the curry goat. You should start to hear the sizzle. All those amazing vegetables and all the lime as well, straight. <laughs> all those amazing vegetables and seasonings. Mm, yes, look at that, I was smelling good already. Mm. The mixture of the fresh seasoning and the powdered. It's just literally just. It's amazing. I want to start adding some fresh ginger. This is a very key ingredient to using curry, just to make sure you're belling around. So we don't get no complaints from people. <laughs> also guys, make sure you're using fresh. Always Caribbean cooking as much as possible. Try nice. and use the fresh raw ingredient. No onion powder or anything like that. Also don't be afraid to season the thing even more, yeah? yeah. So that to, as we said before, we added some curry powder in the seasoning process, the marination process. And so now it's to go in with the rest of the two tablespoons. Mm -hmm. Just to give it a more um, powerful colour. Yeah and a powerful flavour, that's what we're looking for. You can see already that the, the, the sauce, the water, is turning a richer brown already. And that's what you're looking to get. And once it just cooks even more, it will get even more intense in colour. Right guys, so now I'm going to add the lid. This is very important. 
It doesn't matter what lid it is. It could be the lid from your, your nan's old pot, as long as it's a lid or file, yeah? yeah? Turn your stove down to a medium heat and cook it nice and slow. Slow. Like Usher. Nice and slow. Yeah, man. Like you're, press it, you're pressing your woman, yeah? Or your wife. Just or your loved one. No rush, you know? It's not a pressure cooker no thing. No rush. Taking our time with it. It's That's curry right. goat. So the key, yeah? to TLC. The, the key to the perfect curry goat is taking your time. Don't rush it. Don't put the, the heat up to no. a blazing heat. No block. rush. No rush. It's about right now getting that simmer, that steam, so it can be a succulent, fall off the bone meat. You know That's what I mean? Right. That's it, man. You know what I mean? I know nice. what you mean, bro. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> but yeah, with this curry goat, guys, we're going to be serving it with white rice, mm. planting and steamed cabbage. That's right. Yeah. I'm not going to show you how to eat white rice, guys. <laughs> if you don't know. No, I'm joking. No, I'm joking. Yeah. We'll, we'll, do one soon. We'll, do, we'll teach one soon. In there. If you go to our page, we can show you how to make some white rice. So right now, guys, it's about you know, letting it simmer down um, and letting it cook for about an hour. Um, hour before you put in the potatoes, but we're going to watch it every 15 minutes, yep. every 10 to 15 yep. minutes, stirring it, adding more water That's right. if it needs to add more water. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I can't wait, man. Yeah, man. What are you going to do in the meantime? Do some, play some music, dance, you know, chill. Have a little bit of rum. Yeah, man. Fine. Some rum, man. Why not? Much, much, much later. Alright, guys, it's been about half an hour now. Time has been passing. So, what better way to do is to add some more flavour. So we like to use a bit of all-purpose seasoning, just to enhance the flavour and maximise the taste. That's right. This is optional, seasoning? guys. This is an optional thing yeah. to do. This is just our preference that we like to add just that a little oomph to the mm. sauce and to the Trust curry me. goat. Trust me. So yeah, more flavour. Why not, man? Why not? Why not? So basically, all-purpose seasoning is a combination of different spices. So paprika, thyme, um, chilli, garlic, and a bit of enhancer as well, just to enhance the flavour, enhance the maximum right. flavour of this curry goat. Right. So yeah, man, looking good, bubbling away. Cool. So as we said, guys, make sure you stir in occasionally. It's very important to stir so that the pot doesn't get stuck at the bottom. And yeah. Then lay back on and we'll go again for another half an hour. And obviously, let's keep an eye on seeing if the water is reducing. If it doesn't, just leave it to simmer down. One hour later. Hi right, guys, so we're about an hour through the process. So now it's about the time to add the potatoes. So they're washed and peeled and cut into two inch cubes. Nice and finely here. Yeah. So take the pot, pot off, lid off, and start to add in your potatoes. So the potatoes will help to thicken the gravy. So mix it around nicely and incorporate all those potatoes and those spices. As you can see guys, the thyme, the leaves have come off the thyme now. Pick up the stems, um, as you can see, all the leaves have come off into this amazing curry goat. Put the lid back on guys and cook further until nice and tender. More moments later. Woo, there you have it guys, it's wow. been two hours. Bubble in. I don't know about you, bro, but it definitely Wait. looks done to me. Smells so. good. Get in that pan. Look at that. Beautiful. Gonna give it a stir. Bubbling up. Look at that gravy. It's lovely and thick. We'll Look see. at the colour as well, isn't it, bro? Yeah, very golden, very strong. You can see that um, the, the meat's starting to fall off the bone now. When you start seeing the bones falling off, guys, mm. you know it's ready, man. Ready, man. It's ready. That. I can't wait to. The thing about curry goat, you can see the thickness in the yeah. gravy as well. It come a bit like a bit of custard. Sort yeah, of yeah, like curd in like... a bit, but not curd in, not quite curd in, but quite in between that. It is. It's smelling amazing. The Ooh. spices and the flavor of the curry. Beautiful. Guys, listen. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. 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 I can't wait wow. to tuck in. What about you guys? I know you can't wait to tuck in as well. <laughs> well we made some white rice because you know, say. When you eat curry goat, you have to eat it with right rice. Mm -hmm. It's true say, you don't want to get the, the counter top too much curry stains on it, or so even, be careful with that, guys. I even burnt as well, yeah. Top tip. Yeah, man. So here we have it, guys. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, wow. it's looking nice and flavorful. Ooh. Looking flavorlicious. Guys, we wish you were here in the studio with us Sim right now. Mm. Look at that. Beautiful. Mm. 
Nice, man, Sick. nice, nice. Fell off the bone. Trust look me. at that. He literally fell, fell off, off the, the bone. bone there, guys. Look at that. Yeah, man. Ooh. Beautiful. Look at that. You can see Ooh. the bone. You can see the curry sauce looking amazing. Yeah. The scotch bonnets. Time. We've got, we've got to put the gravy on the rice, you know. Ooh, you have to. Very important. Gravy needs to go on the rice. Beautiful. Look at that. Wow. wow. Curry goats. Yeah, man. Authentic. Curry. Delicious. Might flavorful. One more in there. Why not, man? Yeah. Ooh. Wow. It's a big plate, you know? It is. It's a big, it's a big plate. It is. Wow. Can't wait to tuck in now, man. Guys, I don't know about you, but listen, excuse my manners while man <laughs> delves into this deliciousness, flavorlicious curry goat. Yeah? Love With the white man. rice. Make sure it's the white rice, the planting. I'll let you go in there first. Sweet planting and cabbage, man. Woo. So when I get stuck, I don't know what, I don't know what curry goat to go for. I don't even know. I'm, I'm going to go for this one. one. Oh, look at that. Wow. It's wiggling. Wow. Mm. So you know it's ready, you know. Definitely mm -mm. need a knife though. You need a knife, but it's alright. It's alright, man. We're gonna go in there, right mm. in there. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Guys, my mouth is literally. Oh, boring. listen. Guys, it's actually just falling off the bone. Mm. It's tender, juicy. Oh, wow. This is what we're looking for, guys. Like, oh Authenticity wow. at that its finest. Oh, guys, mm. we wish you were here. Guys, you have to make this recipe. Trust you me. You have to. So easy. We're stripping it right back. Grandma's recipe, curry goat. Listen, it's great for the festive period, guys. Mm. Great for the family and friends. Impress someone with your loved one. Listen. Guys, well, we hope you enjoyed the recipe, guys. Make sure you try it at home, and we'll see you next time. Take care. See you later.